Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to take a look at some of the new features and or fixes in the latest build of Windows 11. I'm running 24H2. I am in the Insider program, so today I have the newest build, which is 26,217. I'm going to see that right here, 26,217.5000. So there's a few things I want to show you guys in here today, probably a handful, so stick around. It should be a fun video. Before we jump into these new features, guys, I did want to give you a quick heads up. In celebration of my 200th order over on bootableusbs.com, I am running a 20-day flash sale. So get over there, use the code USB20 for 20, and you're going to save 20% instantly on any of my USB drives in the collection. All right, let's jump right in. All right, guys, first change is an aesthetic one to the rename this PC dialog. Uh, they've just changed the way it looks, changed the uh, language just to match the overall theme of the new Windows 11 24H2. So I like it. It looks pretty cool. Um, if you want to rename your PC and also join it to a domain or just change the domain, you are going to have to still go the other route. Advanced system settings is one way to get there. And then computer name from here. This is under the system properties box. This will allow you to also change the name here and you'll get this classic box where you can do the domain and or work group as well as changing the name there. So a couple, couple different ways to do it. Uh, but if you go with this default way, it does look a little different. I think it looks pretty nice. They also made a similar change for the adjust uh, time and date. So this looks a little different now too. Again, fitting that overall theme for Windows 11 24H2. I'm going to give that a thumbs up. I don't think it's horrible. Let me know what you guys think about that change. Okay, next up, we have a couple of fixes under the uh, settings menu here. The first one, they fix an issue where after using the disable button for a camera under settings, Bluetooth and devices, cameras, the enable button wouldn't work. So I don't have a camera hooked up right now, but if you were to hit disable on the previous build, the enable button wouldn't work. So they went ahead and fixed that. And again, if you had a camera hooked up, this is where you'd see that. Okay, along those same lines, they fixed another thing within the settings menu, and that being under the accessibility and color filters. So if we go here to accessibility, and then we go to the color filters, uh, they fixed an issue where the text showing the color, fi color filters keyboard shortcut was missing from the settings accessibility and color filter. So they have went ahead and fixed all of that, and this is the option that they're talking about here the keyboard shortcut was missing from settings so it's back all right those are a quick a couple of quick fixes that they performed in the 26217 under settings all right guys one quick note here you see that i did successfully upgrade the build to 26217 which is as of today the latest for the canary and dev channels however they are investigating uh ongoing reports from Canary and Dev Channel users that they're getting stuck on builds 26040 and or builds 23620. Again, that's an ongoing investigation. However, if you are impacted by this and really want to get on the latest build in the Canary or Dev Channel today, you can download the latest ISO. I'm going to give you the URL where they have a hyperlink to get the latest ISO. So if you're really jonesing to get on this new build and check out what I'm covering here today, check out that link. I'll have it in the description with a little um, disclaimer or comment, I should say, about, hey, this is where you can get the latest ISO if you're stuck on an older build. All right, just wanted to throw that out there in case that's impacting you. All right, guys, reading through some of the other issues or known um, bugs, it says, I'm not sure why they say this, but it says the Windows key plus W keyboard sh shortcut may not work correctly to open the widgets board. I don't know if that means it's hit or miss for some people, but I'm doing it right now on the new build and it is not opening the widgets. So Windows key plus W, if you're using that to get quick access to those widgets, for me anyway, on 26217, that feature is not working. So just a heads up on that one, guys. Okay, so apparently some people are seeing a hidden menu or a hidden screen within the Windows updates update history. And that would be another block here, another group called AI Component Updates. Sounds like they're kind of teasing this out there for 26217. I'll throw you a link for the article on where I saw this. They have screenshots of the actual actual hidden menu, I guess you'd call it, or hidden screen. Again, you have all these different categories of updates. There would be another one here called AI Components. 
I do not see it. I am on 26217. Um, I'll read through this article a little more in depth, see if there's something we need to do. But it almost sounds like they're kind of sprinkling it out there at this point. Some people are seeing it, some people are not. Uh, yeah, so they're obviously testing some super secret uh, AI stuff. Who would have thought? Microsoft. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. That's what's new in 26217. Do me a favor. If you got any value out of this video, please smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't done so already, I really would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. I am trying to get to 10,000 by the end of the year. I'm going to get to 10,000 by the end of the year. I'll keep grinding no matter what I have to do. But obviously, it takes your guys' help. So again, if you haven't subscribed already, I'd really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. Feel free to share this with your friends, guys. Get the word out there. Uh, 26217. Get the latest and... Uh, Maybe if you think it's the greatest <laughs> build. And again, if you guys are stuck on one of those older builds in the Dev and Canary channel, check out the description. There'll be a link to get you up to that latest and greatest. And one more time, guys, if you haven't checked it out already, bootableusbs.com. I'm running a flash sale for the next 20 days, 20% uh, off all the USBs in the shop. So head on over there, use the code USB20 for 20 and pick one up today. I'll get it shipped out tomorrow. All right, I hope you all have a great day. Until the next video, everyone take care.